Hey guys, is Pastor Steve Chicolanti here? And I think you know exactly who's next to me. Hey everyone. Want to introduce yourself? Uh, so I'm Joel Richardson. We're actually here in Saudi Arabia. We're in an absolute incredible uh, gorge, as you can kind of see behind us. It's called uh, Wadi Taibism. And it may or may not have some pretty profound relevance with regard to the to the biblical exodus. Um, the, the local legend here, so to speak, among the Muslims is that when Moses struck the sea, as the sea parted, that, uh, let's just say, a divine aftershock actually came right through and split the rocks here as well. Yeah. Whether or not that's true, and then, and then they, the, the Muslims will say that after they walked through the sea, they actually proceeded right through this uh, this gorge. I mean, again, we don't know if that's true, but it is an absolute amazing marvel of natural beauty. It sure is. I think the the question a lot of our followers have is, you know, what's next? What do you think is the next significant event? And we're not going to hold you to it and like, you know, call you a false prophet if you don't get it exactly right. But just in your gut, in your feeling, what 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 are we supposed to look forward to since we're following the Bible and studying the Bible? So this is always a difficult um, question. It's a bit of a gamble as well for teachers to sort of... <laughs> but I think a few significant possible issues are um, some... Either one, the overthrow of Iran or a massive transition in Iran, that's possible. Um, or Iran, the Iranian regime maintain, maintains power and actually kind of launches out into the Middle East that there might be some much more significant regional war. A war that would shake up the present um, arrangement, the geopolitical arrangement. In my opinion, I think long term, we will see Turkey, despite their right. present um, inflation rates and so on, we'll see Turkey, the nation of Turkey, emerge really as the regional leader of a growing coalition of more hostile nations as we're at the same time seeing sort of a coalition of more moderate Western friendly, even Israel friendly nations. Um, and you could say in a sense that this is the emergence of the King of the North coalition, Daniel 11, and the King of the South coalition, out of which eventually emerges the Antichrist. I think another significant factor in all of this, which very well could tie into the Abrahamic Accords, which by the way, let me just say, I think the Abrahamic Accords are a very good thing. Um, I think Israel has every legal, biblical right to engage in friendly um, foreign diplomacy with its neighbors and that sort of thing. Um, but on the other hand, it could lead to the eventual Antichrist exploiting um, this Abrahamic Accords, initially portraying himself as a, as a friendly uh, regional leader that who then eventually, of course, becomes more hostile. So what I'm leading to, of course, is the strengthening of the covenant, um, which could possibly relate to the Abrahamic Accords. So, I mean, that's probably a summary of it. I'm probably missing a few things. No, that's awesome. That's that's exactly that's exactly what we believe and what we've been teaching is the, the, the prominence of the Ottoman Empire being revived, Turkey's being at the center of it. They certainly have those ambitions. I think we should be looking at the Islamic world, not the um, not the revived, I don't know, European, it's already revived, European Union. So I, I'm not sure what we disagree on because people like to say, hey, uh, you know, all these prophecy teachers, what, what do you disagree on? I'm like, I'm not fishing for things we disagree on. I think we have a lot more in common uh, than we don't. And I appreciate your ministry. I appreciate the risk you take to, to go out to really dangerous places. Um, you're not just, you know, Joel's not talk, Joel's the real deal. So uh, I've always enjoyed meeting meeting with you. You know, not, it's not often, but uh, we get to spend a few days together here, and it's it's my it's my privilege. Oh no, it's been my privilege as well. And let me just let me just uh, uh, mirror back to you what you just said. I deeply appreciate you, Steve. Just personally, um, as I said to you the other day, you're one of the most amiable, amicable, just gentlemen that I know. Um, I meet a lot of people in ministry, and so. I just appreciate you as a friend, and it's great that we're able to be here in Saudi Arabia together. We're kind of on the on the hunt to find out more about him, to um, validate, I think, for believers that their faith is on solid rock. So you know, anything that, that brings you back to this region where, you know, the Bible was given to us, um, come, come and, and really, I think, put your faith, your faith is in the Word of God, but you're, you're kind of substantiating your faith. 
coming here over the past handful of times over the past few years has absolutely far and away been one of the single most faith strengthening inspiring experiences of my life it's been an amazing journey and um and i know my heart and your heart is to see as many believers come here there's so much here yes. in, the, in the way of what the lord is doing in the earth what he's speaking right now but there's even much more than that there's there's a kingdom that was previously closed that is opening That's right and if the lord is opening it i say the people of god should be pouring in here and just blessing this yeah. kingdom and saying lord cause your face to shine on saudi arabia well our, our driver our driver was just saying you know he's so blessed he bought us some dunkin donuts today and that's very unusual usually the drivers are waiting for the tips but he's just so blessed to be around christians you don't know what your your impact is when you come to these places and you're literally one of the first foreigners one of the first christians that that you know walking out their faith yeah. and and they get to encounter you know so many of us it's such a great open door and this has only just happened saudi arabia was only open to people with work permits now you could come in as a tourist right yeah. so it's a it's a huge open door and i know joe's been praying for that and and i've prayed for that but i think you prayed harder than me for this so it's awesome that it's happened it's Praise amazing God. it's been a it's been a tremendous privilege a blessing and uh yeah the doors are wide open so let's uh we don't even have to pick them open we just have to walk through that's right just walk through all right guys great to see you again and uh, we'll see you in the next video uh stay in faith don't get discouraged by anything i know there's a lot of pressure a lot of weird things happening and you know in the world and people's lives but don't be discouraged our god is king we win he wins you're on the right team god bless you.